nothing much compares to the sensation of carving on a snowboard. And when we talk about carving, we're talking about tapping into the construction of the board to make the turns for us and make those clean pencil line turns in the snow where we're just using what we call the side cut. So if you look at my snowboard, it's got arcs cut into the sides of it. We call that the side cut. These things are built to turn and when we're carving, we're just using the board for what it was designed to do. So the key to getting the snowboard to carve is balancing on that little tiny platform of an edge. So I'm going to do that by combining how much I lean inside the turn with how much I bend my lower body, my knees, my hips and my ankles. And I'm going to allow the edge to bite into the snow and take me through a turn on that pencil line path. So a great way to get the sensation of carving is just in a simple traverse. So I'm just going to ride across the mountain, across the run. On my heel edge, I'm going to stand with equal weight on both feet. And then I'm going to add a little extra to the back foot to keep the back of the snowboard from skidding out. I'm going to lean with my hips just until the edge bites into the snow. And then I'm going to gradually sink down and bend my knees and ankles. And just let that pencil line traverse take me across the run. Looks like this. So what you'll notice when the board locks into the snow and we're leaving that pencil line track is the board wants to turn for you. It starts to do the work for you. Stand in that centered position, keep a little bit of weight on your back foot so the tail doesn't skid and let the side cut take you through the turn. Speed control is really important when we're carving. We want to keep the turns round enough that we decelerate at the end of each turn. Otherwise, we end up riding way faster than we're comfortable with. So as I link these carved pencil line turns together, I'm going to focus on keeping them round and finishing the turn across the fall line so I can dump a little bit of speed. Looks like this. I'm going to hang on to the edge until I come across the hill, slow down, and then start the next turn. Across the hill, Lean and bend. Lean and bend. Thanks for checking out this Cassie snowboard tip. I'm Jeff Chandler from the Canadian Association of Snowboard Instructors. Remember, once you can turn left and right on the snowboard, there's tons more to learn. Visit your local resort and take a lesson with a Cassie certified snowboard instructor.